All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gordon Guitar. A very nice song here from the kid Leroy, Forever and Again. We will have this mix of playing the picking patterns here, and not that hard, and then we have the strumming and chords in the chorus. So let's learn this together now. We'll have to start with the capo on the second here to have the easiest chords possible with the licks and all that's going on here. So capo on second. And for the verse and the picking pattern, there are chords uh, in the background there, but we don't have to learn these chords. It's uh, just pickings there. I will mention them, but we will just look at the picking patterns there. But for the chorus, we have a couple to learn. So let's look at these chords for the chorus. First, we have the C. So that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. We have G next, so that is 3rd on E, 2nd on A, open D, open G, 3rd B, and 3rd E. We have the F, so that's a bar chord. You place the bar here on the 1st fret, you bar all strings there, and then the rest will be 3rd on A, 3rd on D, and 2nd on G. We have the D minor. So that is open D, second G, third B, and first E. And finally we have the E minor. So that is open E, second A, second D, open G, open B, and open E. So there you have the chords you need for the song. Now let's start with the verse play and the pickings. All right, so this first chord, uh, it's actually an A minor we pick from. So this pattern goes a little bit faster than that, but that's how it sounds. All right, so what you need to hold here to start with is the first fret on the B string. You're going to play open A, first B, open E, back to open A in the bass. Then you need to add 3rd fret on the B string, then open E, and back to 1st B. That's the A minor part, it goes... Alright, we move on here to the G. Now you start in this position, 3rd fret on E string. That's the first note, the bass. Then open B. Then open E, then back to the bass there, 3rd fret E, then 3rd B, open E, and open B. So one round goes. All right. And here I use my ring finger for the bass, my little pinky down here to get the third B string. Uh, that's how I do it. All right. Next is the E minor. It sounds like this. All right. So that is just open E, open G, open B, then back to the bass, open E. Then you play the third B, then open B, and open G. So the only thing you need to grab there on the fretboard is the, is the third B string. And when I do that, I play and pick that note. The note after is the open B. I don't pick that with my right hand, the picking hand. I just pull off uh, from the fretboard here or kick it to get the open B, so this is the motion, so. So on the way from the fretboard, when I release it, I snap it there with my finger I'm using to get the open B. All right, so that's the technique stuff there for the E minor, pretty easy. And then we have the final F, and this is the hardest part here. Not that hard, but it is uh, the hardest part here. It sounds like this. So you need to have this little bit awkward um, position here on the fretboard. So you play 
first E string in the bass, second G, first B, then back to the bass, first E, then you do this, and that's a hammer on and pull off technique there. You pick the first note, the first B, then you use one finger, in this case, uh, my little pinky, to get the third B string. I hammer on that without picking with my right hand, and I pull off the snap there we talked about before to get the first B string back again. And then you pick the second G and finally first B. So slowly. And that's one round of picking. So I'm gonna take you through now from the beginning to the very end, it goes like this. Standard tempo. Yeah, so there you have it. All right. Now let's take a look at the chords and the chords we talked about before. So we have C as the first chord, and the strumming pattern will be down, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up. All right. So a lot of action here with the strumming hand. One round sounds like this. All right, so down, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up. Okay, so down, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up. That is one round. So the chord progression will be C, one round, G, one strumming round and F two strumming rounds. That three combo there, C1, G1, F2, you play for two rounds, okay? Then you continue with D minor one round, E minor one round, and F two rounds. And then you go back to the original, you started with C1, G1, and F2, and it's only for one round. So total of four rounds here. The first two rounds are C1, G1, and F2. Then you play the D minor one, E minor one, F2, and then finally C1, G1, F2, like this. So there you have the chorus guys and you have to put it all together on your own you have the parts verse and chorus play and that's it for the Kid Laroids beautiful forever and again so a great song there so give it a try guys and if you enjoyed the tutorial please let me know thumb up subscribe why not and I hope to see you soon again till then play tuned